In this video, we're going to quickly cover how to use Final IK once it's installed by the Motion Matching Local Motion Controller Config Wizard, and also specifically how to correct one very common problem centered around the fact that most models arrive in the T pose, and Final IK needs that to change in order for it to be able to determine the uh, proper angle of bending for the elbows and knees. So to start with, you'll notice my main model, the hoodie guy, um, he's in T-pose. And yet in the scene, what I've created, this this gent is not. He's got elbows and knees bent slightly. And that's specifically so that we can get a good rig out of Final IK. So I'll show you what Final IK looks like. And so that's the all the blue dots and lines. That's the Final IK armature. And if you notice the arrows coming off of the elbows and going off of the knees, those arrows should always point exactly away from the primary rotation axis. So your knee wants to bend going backwards. So if you're standing up straight, that should point forwards. But since we've already bent the knee a little bit, it's going to point slightly down, but still forwards. And you'll notice I have the elbows such that they're bending forward. So that should go orthogonally out from there but be otherwise, or, you know, essentially along the axis of that rotation. And so to do that, however, I'm going to show you, I'll, I'll load in the hoodie guy model with the T-pose, but first I'll just show you how to do, how to get a model prepped for final IK. So if you take your normal T-pose hoodie guy, and we'll just go ahead and, um, he's kind of in the way, so we'll turn our player character off. But so here's our, our T-pose. Um, so we can just reach in and shout out to Game Dev Inspire on YouTube, who had a short that showed to be all click these, it pops them all out. Um, there'll be a link in the description to his channel, but uh, I've used Unity for a decade and had no clue that was there and have constantly just been clicking these little triangles. So deeply appreciate that tip. So now let's go find the lower arm is going to be the elbow on this model. If you hit E, that'll take you to the rotation. And then all you got to do is just bend it a little bit. And so then we'll go over to the other one. Here's the right lower arm. We'll do the same thing. We'll come down to the, the legs, which is going to probably be calf. Sure enough, yes, it is. Let's go ahead and just bend that knee enough to get it done. Do the thing with the right calf. Same thing. Bend it properly there. And now we have everything we need in order this for this model to be properly utilized. But first, we've got to turn it into a prefab. So we just grab the model, drag it down here, and say original prefab. So once we have hoodie guy number one, you'll notice he's now in the pose that allows Final IK to figure out the proper bending of the elbows and knees. So let's go to the config wizard and let's make a few of these. We don't need this anymore, so just hit delete. Get rid of it. Now we'll go to the config wizard. And so first I'll show you what goes wrong when you do it the wrong way. So we don't need Strider. Well, we'll just leave it all turned on because why not? And let's go ahead and add this uh, person to the scene. And what you'll notice, it could work, but usually it does not. And sure enough, okay, so this is gonna, this is gonna go quite poorly. I'm gonna, I'll run it because it's quite often hilarious when you do. But you notice the knees actually look sort of, they could be right. However, the knees are gimbal locked right now, and that's going to be problematic with regards to it may get this axis right, but not have the others proper. So there's there's a couple. Well, usually if it's got the knees right, it's going to have that. But if you notice the elbows, they're not right at all. They should be pointed straight back. Well, as I showed when I rotated that thing, it, his arms move forward. So that arrow should be pointed straight back, and it is not. So first, let me get a... So with Final IK, if you're going to use the uh, inverse kinematics, you have to have a some sort of target for it to go to. So let's go to Create Object. So I'll right-click, 3D Object, Sphere. We don't need to rename it. We'll go ahead and constrain the proportions of this little button right here. And that'll just let us make a little hit W so that I can put it somewhere that the hand can actually reach. But you'll, you should be able to pretty quickly see that that something is terribly wrong here. Uh, when I hit play. Oh, well, actually, everything is fine because we actually haven't used, we haven't set this. So you go drag the sphere into his left hand effector, 
and then let's go ahead and bring it open and you'll notice so he's already his shoulder is already rotated and doesn't look great i'm just going to go ahead and go to the scene so we can look at what's happening but if you look it's so it may look well you can already see his arms bent at an unnatural angle it just doesn't look uh yeah that it's uh it's not great so um it's hilarious but it's not uh it's not what we're looking for so let's go ahead and close that down we'll sh we'll turn off this guy and then we'll go make one with the proper model that we just created this hoodie guy model number one so all things staying the same we just hit add and now when we go to this model sure enough elbows and knees are pointed in the right direction so let's go ahead and uh, correct my mistake from before we'll go to the inspector we'll go down to full body biped ik and we'll drag the sphere in as his left target perfect perfector and now what you should notice i'll jump back to scene view so we have the same view we just had but now what you should notice is his arm looks normal his arm is completely uh normally connected to that sphere and if i move the sphere around everything just looks right and so that's uh final ik doing what it was meant to do and so that's i'm am working on trying to automatically rotate the limbs but pretty much every model that you run into could have a different what's referred to as a local rotation axis at those joints it could have the the x-axis could be pointing in a completely different direction for each of those uh each model so i'm gonna have to uh, do something a little more complex than just a fixed rotation which is also why final ik doesn't do it automatically but i'll see what i can do about getting that right but in the meantime this is your this is your setup it's not so much a uh, motion matching locomotion controller limitation as it is just a a gotcha with regards to getting final ik properly set up and that's it for this tutorial.